going on everybody, Paul Tech here and welcome back to another unboxing video. Today I present you the Isenwheel S10 Max. Now Isenwheel calls this the SUV of scooters. So this is going to be a high-end commuting electric scooter. Now before I get started, I want to send a big thank you to Isenwheel for sending the scooter out to me so I can test out and review and share my experience with all of you on YouTube. So thank you very much. So here we go, we got the box right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and share with you all the contents that are included, set up the scooter. And then in about a week from now, I'm gonna be dropping my full review on this scooter after I test it out for about a week. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my unboxing knife here and open up the box. Now take a look at the ducks in the background. I absolutely love this location here to you know film, ride scooters around. This is called the Anderson River Park. Now opening up the box, there was a little message there on the box that does say, you know, hold on to this box for a little while after you receive your scooter. Just in case you need to return the scooter to ice and wheel for whatever reason, you have the packaging uh, and you can use the box here to return your scooter. Now take a look at the inside packaging here. Ice and wheel did a really, really good job here. You got this really nice strip of foam going across the top of the box. And as you can see, it looks perfect. No damage to the top whatsoever. I've been purchasing and, you know, reviewing Isenwheel products for some time now. And every time I get an item from Isenwheel, it's always packaged really good. I've never received a damage unit uh, from Isenwheel when it came to their e-bike, as well as their electric scooter. So they do a really good job with packaging. So let's go ahead and remove these large blocks of foam that we have on the right and left hand side of the box, put that one to the side. And then you got this second large piece of uh, foam here protecting the scooter. Go ahead and get the S10 Max out of the box. Now, removing the S10 Max out of the box, it does kind of feel like you're lifting in this awkward angle because the handlebars aren't connected or the stem. So if you have a second person, it'll be a lot easier to get the scooter out of the box. Uh, I can remove it out of the box. So, I mean, you, you can probably do this by yourself, but if you had a second person, it just makes it a little bit easier on your back. And the scooter does have some decent weight to it. I would say it probably weighs in about 50 to 60 pounds. So removing the protective uh, plastic cover here i'm gonna go ahead and inspect the scooter make sure everything is looking good so i highly recommend this too you know when you get your s10 max out of the box just inspect it go over the scooter before your first ride just to make sure there is no type of damage but just taking a look at this right here the s10 max fresh out of the box it looks perfect there's no types of nicks or dings everything is just looking as it should out of the box all right, so first impressions of the S10 Max, just fresh out of the box. I love the design choices that Icing Will went with here with the S10 Max. The scooter reminds me of a scooter that can hang with the off-road scooters and go through some dirt trails, but it can also blend in with the commuter scooters as well in urban areas, and it's gonna just be able to handle both environments. So really good design language here, in my opinion, with the tires, with just the swing arm design there, it looks good. All right, so unfolding the scooter here. Now right here in the folding latch, you have like this protective foam. So you gotta remove this protective foam before you unfold the scooter. So just kind of keep that in mind. Once you remove that foam, you can go ahead and raise the stem of the S10 Max. You got this really sturdy folding mechanism right here and it'll just lock right into place. It looks really good. What you wanna do next is install the handlebar bars to the stem. Now you're going to notice that you got these wires here and what you want to do is feed these wires down into the stem of the S10 Max. Once you do that you can go ahead and place the handlebars to the stem and just line them up with the holes on the right and left hand side. We got this protective foam right here. I'm going to go ahead and get that removed. And then as you can see, you got the, you know, Ice and Will logo right there. But next, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this storage bag that is included with the purchase of your Ice and Will S10 Max. So I think this is awesome that Ice and Will does include this with the purchase because there are a lot of other scooter manufacturers, a lot of companies that charge you extra for the storage bag. So this would be something you would have to buy separately 
with other scooter companies, but Eisenwheel includes this with the purchase. As you can see, you can mount this to the handlebars and the stem of your S10 Max. It's made of some really nice material here, and it's pretty large. You're gonna be able to fit a lot of accessories in this storage bag. It can definitely fit a large Gatorade bottle. You know, you can put your phone in there, power bank, all types of stuff. And as you can see, opening up the storage bag, there's all types of goodies inside here. So let's go ahead and take a look at all the accessories you get here. So what you got is your multifunctional tool for tightening bolts and installing the four screws that are in the bag for your handlebars. And those screws already have the blue Loctite on them, which is very nice. You also got your valve extender there, that red valve, and that's gonna be able for you to connect that to an air pump to put air in your tires. Then you also got this card here from Ice and Wheel where it says we're here to help, so you can reach out to customer support if you need to. And you can also follow them on their other social media sites. And then you also got your S10 Max electric scooter user manual here. So highly recommend, you know, open it up. It's gonna give you all the information you need for setting up your scooter for the first time. It's gonna give you some additional tips. And it's also gonna let you know how you can download the Ice and Wheel app to your mobile device so you can connect to your electric scooter via Bluetooth, which gives you some more additional options that you have available for your scooter here. But yeah, it'll give you all types of helpful information. And then we got the battery charger here. So it is uh, some pretty good size and it has some nice weight to it here. Now with this battery charger here, it says the output is 54.6 volts at two amps. And then as you can see on this end is where you're gonna charge up your scooter. So you're gonna plug that into the charging port of the S10 Max. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put these screws into the handlebars. Now that blue color on the screws is the Loctite, which that's fantastic that you got Loctite on these screws. So oftentimes you have to put that on yourself. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws on by hand at first. So what you wanna do is put two screws to the right hand side, and then you're gonna go ahead and put two more screws on the left hand side. I just find this a lot easier to put the screws on by hand at first. And then once I have the screws um, on, then I can go ahead and use the included tool to go ahead and tighten up those screws to the handlebars. It just makes it a little bit easier uh, doing it that way. Now this tool right here is gonna be you're gonna be able to use that for tightening additional screws on your S10 Max. You can also use this tool to adjust the brakes as well. So it's a multifunctional tool and you got you know different parts on this tool for different sizes of screws you can use. But that's pretty much it. Super, super easy installation when it comes to installing the handlebars to the stem. It's so funny, I had to stop recording a couple times because I've had people come up to me here at the lake asking me what type of scooter is this? Where can I find it at? That they really, really like the way it looks. And you know, and that's true. This scooter has a really awesome look to it. Now, I was looking at Ice and Will's website on this scooter for the past couple weeks before I received it. And you know what, when you see it in person, you can just see all the fine detail, the craftsmanship that went in to you know, creating this scooter here. And that's true, when I was looking at this scooter on Ice and Wheel's website, I didn't notice the detail on the handlebar grips right there and the fact that they are screwed on so you're not gonna have any type of movement when you are riding this scooter here. You got your turn signals right there, your display which has a protective film on the display. You have your power button right there and next to the power button is going to be your thumb throttle and again, Take a look at these really nice grips. You got some nice design to them right there. This also has turn signals to the right and left hand side of the handlebars. And you got a lot of space there where you can mount additional accessories like a phone holder, a Bluetooth speaker if you need to. And it looks really, really nice. You got a really good amount of space on these handlebars. They're extended pretty far. Should be a comfortable ride. All right, long pressing on the power button is going to power on your display. And as you can see how the display looks right there, and you got different modes that you can go through just by double pressing on the power button there, we'll cycle through the different modes. Now this scooter is gonna be able to hit a top speed of 28 miles per hour. Isonwell claims that this can reach a max range of 37 miles. You got good reach ability to the brakes right there to the right and left hand side. Again, 
you got turn signals on board here. So right there, you can activate the turn signals. And one thing I noticed, you get the display showing that the turn signals are on. Turn signals to the brake light as well and the handlebars. So you got them on both areas there. So people should be able to see you when you are signaling that you are gonna be making a turn. As you can see, I am outdoors and you can see them outdoors as I am right now to the brake as well, to the rear fender. Really, really good safety feature. And again, on group rides, it's a good way just to signal to your friends and people you're riding with. You're gonna make a right and left-hand turn. You got your little latch right there. Um, for folding down the scooter and just overall, you know, it looks really good. You got your front light right there. Take a look at that cable management, just cables to the right and left hand side, the brake lines, and they go right into the stem. So really, really good, clean cable management that you got here. And taking a look at that swing arm design to the front tire right there, charging port right there. And yes, this is UL certified 2272. So a UL certified battery here, the rear kick plate right there, and you got rear suspension. So you're gonna get suspension to the front and suspension to the back. And with this footboard here, it does measure in at 7.5 inches. So you should have some good uh, foot space and should be a comfortable ride for your feet there. And you also get that kick plate to the back, which looks like it has some really nice grip on it as well. And that rear fender, as you can see, it extends pretty far and it has like this carbon fiber design. As you can see your brake light and with the tires there, they are 10 inch tubeless puncture proof tires. So again, check the air pressure on these tires here. They are air filled tires, suspension to the front and back. You got your disc brake right there. Again, you got two brakes, one to the front and one to the back as well. And then you're gonna get a 1000 watt brushless motor to the back. So the motor is on the back wheel there. As you can see, nice cable management going into the frame of the S10 Max. That swing arm design with reflector right there and some really nice brakes, tires. It's a really nice package you got here with the S10 Max here. It's an aluminum frame, so it should be very durable. Um, you also get water resistance IPX4 on board here. Max load on Ice and Wheels website says 330 pounds. So that's pretty much it for my unboxing and first impressions of the Ice and Wheel S10 Max. Again, this retails for $539, and I think you're getting a lot of bang for your buck here. But I will be dropping a full review on this scooter in about a week, so I'm going to use it for a week, put it through the paces, and I'll come back and let you know was I able to reach that top speed of 28? Did I get the max range of 37 miles? How are the tires? How are the suspension? How's the light in low light conditions? How are the brakes? I'll cover everything in my full review. So definitely stay tuned, be subscribed to the channel. And if you wanna know more information about the S10 Max, I'll drop a link to Ice and Will's website. Go ahead and check it out. Look at the specifications. And you know, let me know what you think about this scooter in the comment section below. But stay tuned guys, I got the full review dropping in about one week. All right everybody, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing to the channel. This is Paul Tech, I'll talk to you in the next one.